Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey if anybody is new and joining me here for the first time, thank you so much. My slogan is Believable Brand Beauty. That doesn't mean you have to be brand and stay and play. It's just an explanation of the makeup that I do on this channel. I also like to use makeup in a slightly unconventional way sometimes. So if that sounds like something you'd like, please keep watching. Okay, first of all, I have to explain why my voice is so much deeper. It is like six o'clock in the morning. I've woken up really early to do this video today because I'm trying to combat the heat. Because in my last video, I had to have the windows open because it was so hot, but that's because I shot in the afternoon. So I thought if I do it really early in the morning, maybe it won't be so hot. And so far, I mean, it's warm, but it's bearable. So that's why my voice is like this. Also, my face might look a bit puffier because I've just woken up, washed my face, brushed my teeth and set up my um, camera and stuff. So um, yeah, I hope <laughs> that doesn't throw you off too much, but it's still me. I just have a really deep voice in the morning. Okay, so today's look, I've decided to do a golden glowy makeup because I think it's really lovely in the summer to play up the glow that you have. Um, I am very grateful that I'm still keeping mine, even though I've been back from holiday a few weeks, but it's been really warm and really sunny in London, so I've made sure I've been outside every day with my SPF 50, but I've been out every day because I, I love the way my skin looks in the summer. So I thought, mm, maybe that would be a good video to share with people. So. Let's get straight into it. First of all, I'm taking my Benefit 24 Brow Setter and just setting my brows in place. Struggleina, someone was very sweet and I can't remember your name, sorry, but left me a message saying that they couldn't see what Struggleina was. If you saw her in real life, you'd know there's a big difference between the two of them. And then today I'm going to do a teeny bit of underpainting. Now I find that I see a lot of highlighter on people that looks really highlightery. I know highlightery is not a word, but if Mary J. Blige can get away with dancery, I can get away with highlightery. And I found a way to combat this is to underpaint and put your highlighter underneath your base. So that looks like properly like Tin Man at the moment, but you'll see when I go over it with my foundation, it will be a lot softer. Just make sure you blend the edges because you want it to kind of like melt into your skin on the sides. Okay, for concealer, I am taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but today I'm using Cafe, which is a shade darker than Amand. I think, is it a shade? I think it is a shade darker, just because um, I think I'm pushing my luck using my regular concealer, because it is really bright. So I'm just gonna blend that through. I might use my other one to highlight on top of it, but I think, I mean, I've tried the two of them and this one looks a lot more natural. Looks a lot more believable. I'm not a fan of like super highlight underneath the eyes. I don't like concealer triangles, so I think this is a much more sensible way of using concealer. I'm just gonna blend that out as well. For foundation, I'm taking my Cover Effects Power Play Foundation in G110, which is darker than what I usually use. And I'm just gonna put a really thin layer of this because my skin's pretty good when I've been in the sun. So I don't need to use lots. And I think that's really important as well. Like when you're doing your own makeup, just because it's foundation doesn't mean it has to go everywhere. You know, you decide where you want it to go. And I'm literally just using it to kind of soften my highlighter. I don't wanna completely knock it out, but just to make it a tiny bit softer. Oh no, this is the thing that happens if you use your hand as a palette. I've now got that um, a highlighter on my face down here. I don't need it here, so I'm just gonna rub that away. Pay attention to where I'm putting my brush on my hand. It's gonna be more useful. And then just go over that again. This side looks much more even. Like just, there's just something about it. I mean, this side is not really that bad, but a little bit of foundation does make a difference. It's not so hot today, it's not up in the 30s, so I think I can get away with wearing some makeup today. When I have my shower, I just have to keep my face out so it doesn't get wet. I hardly put any foundation on my forehead, especially in the summer, because it's even more even than normal. A tiny bit on my nose. Okay, so now I'm gonna move back onto my eyes. I am taking Amand this time, and I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow base. 
just going to take my finger and pat this on. I don't know if this concealer trick works for everyone using concealer as an eyeshadow base. I've always done this. I've done this for years. Um, I don't always do it in every video because I feel like people want to see a product. But most of the time when I do my own makeup, I really do just use concealer on my eyelid. So that's that. Then I'm taking this beauty pie. What is this called? Metallic eyeshadow. And, oh gosh, can I say this name? I think it's called Aureate or Aureate. Um, yeah, I don't know how to say it, but it's the golden, like, loose pigment from Beauty Pie. And I'm literally using my finger again, because it looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. And I find that things like this are much easier to put on with your fingers. So I've just worked it into the back of my hand, and I'm going to tap this. Wow. That is nice. Tap that onto my eyelid. Oh, I love that colour. So pretty. Okay, let's do the other one. Same thing again. Use your finger. And just blend that on. So guys, I need to um, ask a question. Because I have been doing my lives on Sundays that I love doing. This is a really, like nice part of my weekend and I keep having like really deep discussions on there and I'm thinking should I do them like in a video or should I leave them on my lives because I feel like sometimes people would like to hear like the discussions that I have with everyone else but I don't know I don't know how it would work because I need the interaction right I need the feedback from everyone that's watching me do the makeup I don't know if it would work if I did it by myself, but yeah. Rambly, rambly, rambly. Okay, I'm taking saddle eyeshadow now. And I am using a Louise Young brush, LY38B. And I don't really want it to be like a hard crease. The saddle's quite a neutral colour, like it's quite close to my lid colour. But it's just going to tidy up the edge of the shadow a bit. Next I'm taking some Rimmel Coal pencil and literally just here, literally like the outer quarter of the eye. And I'm taking a tiny little angle brush and just pulling that up and out. I really like using pencil sometimes to do my flicks because I think there's a softness to them that you don't get from using a gel liner. So I don't want it to be a full line either because I have the habit of doing that all the time and I'm trying to break habits and get out of my comfort zone. So I'm just going to put it just in this corner here. Next, I'm taking it this blush from Beauty Pie. It's a peachy colour. I'm going to use it as my inner corner highlight today. What brush is this? Oh, it's a Hakuhodo one, so it's going to be expensive. I can't remember what number it is because I find that really annoying. You spend all this money on these brushes and then the names rub off really quickly. See that? That is cute. Hmm. This is nice. Okay, so that's on. What do I need to do next? Oh, brows. I'm taking my Benefit precisely my brow pencil. In number five and I'm just filling in struggleina. Guys she really is a struggle, struggling brow. She may not look it on camera but in real life whoa. Just softly fill it in. I don't like a really hard brow shape at the moment. I don't like myself like my brows looking too made up. So I'm just filling in really the gaps and trying to make them look like they belong on the same face. For mascara, I'm taking my extended play <laughs> in Giga Black. And I am just going to 
do my top and bottom lashes in this one first. So you all know the routine guys and then go over my top lashes with my in extreme dimension. And sorry, I can see gaps in my liner. I was trying to be cute and do it without a mirror, but um, my eyes, no. And then my in extreme 3D black lash mascara from MAC as well. This is my favorite one. And just go over my top lashes. Onto lips. I'm using Costa Riche eye coal pencil, I think this is, yeah, from MAC. It's my favorite lip liner at the moment. So I just line my lips first. Then I'm taking my Hourglass lipstick in nude number six. And then I'm taking my NYX Butter Glass in uh, Praline. It smells so nice. I really like um, glossy lips at the moment. I'm someone that used to hate glossy lips that I've, I've moved on in the world. Next I'm going to take some um, of my Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation in number 10.25 and I'm just going to do a tiny bit of contour. Now I don't do this all the time but the reason I'm doing this today is because I really want to make my highlight pop. So if you do a tiny bit of contour underneath, the contrast in the colours make, make each thing play up on each other so your contour will look a bit stronger because of the highlight and the highlight will look a bit stronger because of the contour. So work that in. Taking a big powder brush, I think this is a 129 from MAC, but it's the old ones, the ones that they don't make anymore. And I'm just gonna set my face. These are my Cover FX powder, the matte setting powder in number five. Then I'm using my Vanessa Myrex powder, Evolution powder in number five, just to warm up my forehead and take down the shine a little bit. I don't want it to be completely matte, but just, I know my forehead, it'll betray me later on in the day. Use it to reinforce my contour a little bit. And then finally, I'm gonna go on to blush. So I'm gonna try this Beauty Pie blusher. This is the color of it, I'll show you. See if it will work on my skin. Oh yeah, it does. And now that everything's on, I feel like I, I could put on a tiny bit more highlighter. So I'm going to go back to the Illuminating Veil, back with my Real Techniques, what is this called? Setting brush. And just make that pop a tiny bit more here. Some of you might be thinking, oh, she hasn't highlighted the middle of her face, and there's two reasons for that. First and foremost, I get really shiny in the middle of my face anyway, so if I add highlighter on top of it, it just ends up looking ridiculous. And secondly, you need to understand the point of highlighter. So if you use highlighter on your face, you're using it to pull out and draw out those features. My face is already very long and quite narrow. If I put highlight in the middle of my face, I'm pulling this part of my face out, which is gonna make my face look narrower. And I don't want that, I don't need it. My face is, I think, fine without highlighter in the middle. So this is something that's really important. Like you need to analyze and understand how your face works and what makeup does to your face and not just copy what everyone else does because that's apparently how it should be done. For me, highlight in the middle of my face is a no. So yeah, that's it, this is my Easy, summer glowy makeup. I mean, I love this Danessa Myrix highlight and I love using it underneath foundation because it just makes the glow look like it's coming from within. So yeah, this was, like I say in every video, but I'm not lying, it was really fun to do. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you don't already um, subscribe to my channel, that would be cool. Hit the subscribe and then you have to hit the notification bell as well. 
Also, if you don't follow me on my Instagram, I do live um, Get Ready With Me's on Sunday mornings at 9.30 GMT. So if you want to see how I do makeup in real time and just want to hang out and have a chat and listen to me get deep and philosophical, because that seems to be happening on my channel, on my Instagram all the time, join me there. I'll leave my handle for you here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.